This video will demonstrate using CODIS's 3.5 to program a WAGO PFC200 controller. For this demonstration, I'll be using a WAGO 750-8202 PLC with a 16-channel input module and a 16-channel output module. First, we'll begin by going to the CODIS's store and downloading the target for the PFC200. Uh, under the CODIS's store, just type in PFC200 in the search and uh, Pick the menu option below. Um, once you're logged in, you can click the download button and download the package to install into CODIS's 3.5. Once we've downloaded, we'll open CODIS's 3.5 and begin installing the package. From the start screen, you can go to Tools and Package Manager, and that's where we'll install the, the PFC200 package. Uh, we'll select the file that we downloaded and click Install. Um, once we select the proper install type um, and authorize, then we're good to go. Now this will install directly into CODASYS, uh, and afterwards you'll, you'll have to uh, restart CODASYS in order for the tool to show up. So we select all this, we close. Um, we'll see that we don't have the update yet, so we have to uh, close CODASYS and restart. Once we've restarted that, uh, we'll be able to go again to Tools, and uh, at the bottom of the Tools menu, you'll see Update PFC200. Once we select this, uh, we'll need to make sure that we have the correct IP address for the PFC200. Then we'll have to put in our password for the root access on the Linux side of the PFC200. Once we click OK, you'll see a message returned that says the update was successful, and in this uh, at this point, we'll have to power cycle the PFC200. So go ahead and pull power uh, and restore, and the controller will boot with the CODASYS 3.5 uh, firmware. So now we'll start a new project. Um, we'll call this PFC200 underscore uh, CAA. We click OK. And now our device tree will show up. Uh, in the project, we have to select our target. I'll we'll select PFC200. Now we can see our device tree. So now we're going to uh, go to device, double click on device. We'll check the IP address. Uh, once we add that and we see that it's um, active, we'll go and we'll add some IO. So in this case, we could either search or just pick it out of the, the list. Uh, we'll pick a 1405 module as well as a 1504. Now we'll go address the uh, output word for the 1504, and we're just going to make this my out word. And navigating to the PLC underscore PRG, the main program, uh, we're just going to write a very simple routine just to get the comms working, or just to get the I.O. working. So once we've done this, we'll download it to the PLC, uh, and we'll run it. And once we switch the on switch on the PLC, uh, you can see that the I.O. is running. 